Good day, everybody. My name is Osmond Quarantine. Welcome back to Subnautica News. Now, I'm sorry it's been nearly a month. It's really bad of me. I'm really sorry. I just completely... I had other priorities that I needed to deal with. I've had mock exams, stuff like that. Um, it, it just things got on top of me and I was not able to get uh, any videos out. But I'm back now uh, and I don't know how regular the videos will be, but th this is certainly going to be one for the moment. And the first bit of news that I have to share with you is that they're planning on adding a CM Pro telepathic dialogue for triggering earlier in the game, which means that the CM Pro must communicate telepathically. So the Emperor has telepathic abilities. I'm not entirely sure how this telepathic dialogue is going to work. Perhaps the Sea Emperor is going to be able to try and communicate with us when we land on the planet through telepathy. Um, I don't know what kind of form the telepathy will come in. Maybe we'll get it as a signal in the radio uh, signal receiving thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how he would transfer the telepathy, so it could be over radio signals, could be over many, many things. Uh, don't know what that means, but uh, it seems pretty cool. So the next bit of news is, this is the animation of the hood being opened, and then they flip three switches sequentially. Sweet, sequentially? Sequentially? Is that a word? Sequ I don't know. And then close the hood. So this is the thing, I believe, um, that's going to be on the rocket. I think it's rocket stuff. I don't know if it's going to be on the rocket, it might be on the launch pad, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, but that's that's pretty cool. This seems really cool, it basically, it's like it folds up into a nice little package, and I think on land especially that will be really useful because he is quite tall and the storage modules are on the side, they're on the top here, and they're quite difficult to get to if you're on, for example, Mountain Island, you have to get up to a high level or you just have to kind of jump and time it right. So this will actually let the thing come down a little bit more so it's easier to access everything on it uh, so that's pretty cool and I assume it will also do that animation when it gets in the moon pool because at the moment it's little it'll, little legs dangle out the bottom which is cute but it's not not very practical and also not very um, realistic so I assume that's what that will be used for there's some enemy animations for the Emperor Leviathan prison platform um, I assume that will be some kind of lift that maybe goes down from the top of the prison to the Lower bit, maybe into the antechamber, something like that. Entirely, not entirely sure how that's gonna work. Uh, they got a bit of stuff about the Ghost Leviathan, stuff about the Lost River. So this is the um, antechamber, I believe. Yeah, the prison interior antechamber. And this is a light column, and I believe this is what is gonna be used, uh, which was w what was used by the precursors to create precursor ion crystals. Now I'm not entirely sure what reference this will have to the story. Whether we'll be able to use it as the player, I'm not entirely sure. Um, about any of that stuff, but it looks really really cool from this concept art And there's also a bit of a video that I do want to show you uh, But I won't show you the whole thing because it's like five minutes long But I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and watch it for yourself Because it does have a bit of commentary by one of the devs, so that's pretty interesting Okay, so this right okay, here so, uh, is the video of the anti-chamber and this is the light column animation and they're, they're adding it and it's gonna have a lot of animations and stuff uh, there's a guy talking currently I think he's called Colin he's one of the uh, animators in the game I think I'm not entirely sure um, and it's just he's just showing these different animations and how he's made them not completely regular so it doesn't look like too too perfect uh, but that's like one of the bits of animation and then I believe this I think there should be ah there you go so that's the animation for the bottom bit uh, that comes up, and this is where I believe the precursor ion crystals will be fabricated just on that bit there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Not entirely sure how the actual animation is going to work, but that's how it's looking so far. And there's an exosuit for size comparison as well. So as you can see, it's going to be pretty big. But yeah, either way, that's really, really cool. There is a guy commentating over it, and it's really, really interesting. So if you do want to go and see that, I will link this video in the description. Uh, for you to go and watch for yourself, it's really, really cool. Okay, so I've just got into the game, and this is the new HUD, as you can see in the bottom left corner. It's far less kind of stats-based, it's more visual, it's more of a visual representation of um, the kind of the different levels of uh, survival that you need. So you've got the main O2 bar, which you can see, which I do actually really like the animation of, it's got like bubbles in the background. Then you have the heart, which is health, obviously. Uh, you've got food, which is the apple thing. Um, and then you've also got water, uh, which is the water droplet thing, I assume. Um, so I'm going to try and eat an apple. Uh, apple? What? So you have to eat that. A little bit of an animation goes on there uh, that probably wasn't great. Yeah, so one thing I don't so much like about this, and I think a lot of people agree with me here, um, but a lot of people also disagree with me, I, I like having like, 
statistical representations rather than um, visual like that. Like, I'd prefer to have numbers like it was before, like percentages, or at least somewhere on there have percentages. I'm, I'm not sure how you feel about that. Tell me, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd be interested to see the kind of split between people. I do like the new the layout. I do like it. I just kind of hoped that maybe the water, food, and health would have a bit more of a kind of statistical feel, because I don't think that quite accurately enough represents like, survival, and I, I, I don't know, I'm not sure how I think about it, to be honest. But it, I think it, it looks cool, either way. So, yeah, you know, that's good. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here, so if you did enjoy the video, please give a like. If you're feeling really generous, subscribe to Crunchy David. Until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Try, my friends.